That's right. The old man of New England has headed out of the cold winter of New England into the warmth of southeast Arizona. Our first adventure took us to Coronado National Forest, which is where Mount Graham is. It's just out of Safford, Arizona. But before we headed up the road, we did a little bit of meditation and praying to the Arizona road gods. up Route 266 from Safford, Arizona, up Mount Graham, which is about 10,200 feet. We got about as far as we feel comfortable with. There's starting to be ice on the road. But it's just spectacular. We're over 6,000 feet right now on this, uh, on this paved road. I found this little trail on the side. I'm not sure where it goes to. There seems to be a lookout platform up here. Huh. Yeah. Oh my God. Looks like I'm a stuck one. <laughs> Mount Graham with its binocular observatory atop is considered a sky island because of its radically different environment high above the lowlands below. <laughs> From Arizona 366 and Mount Graham, we headed north back up to Safford. And on our way, we hit Roper Lake State Park. We thought that might be interesting, so we pulled on in. There's a campground there and about five miles worth of trails. As far as a lake, um, <laughs> coming from New England, I guess this is a lake in the desert. But uh, by our standards, it looked more like a uh, sand pit with some water in it. But nonetheless, it was pretty cool seeing water in the desert. The park has about five miles of trails, 
we started off in the Mariah Mesa Trail to make roughly a two mile loop around the park. The Mariah Mesa Trail is nice in that it climbed up Mariah Mesa, which gave us a 360 degree view of the park, Mount Graham and the desert around us. It was a great way to introduce us to the area. One thing we learned about the desert southwest is everything has thorns on it. Everything. We took a little break to visit family and play with Alfred before we headed to the Gila Box Conservation Area. This is BLM land just outside of Safford and it surrounds the Gila River. There was no one else here. We had the whole place to ourselves. And it was our first chance to see some rushing water in the desert. It was pretty cool. This section of the river is known for its float trips, canoe, kayak, rafts. Maybe someday we'll come back here and we'll get to enjoy those things. The Bonita Creek Watchable Wildlife Area. <laughs> I gotta say, I've never heard of such a place. You're supposedly able to see cougars and javelinas and other wildlife down uh, in the Bonita Creek area, which merges with the Gila River. We didn't see anything, but it was beautiful. This part of Arizona is definitely off the beaten track and where there isn't reservation land, BLM land, or other public land, it serves the extractive industry, primarily copper mining. This certainly was New England, but man, these sky islands were just as impressive as the islands that I've been paddling to back at home. Can't you clip it onto something? No. I don't want to Okay, can you? Can you hold it? <laughs> I just don't want to get like all the dashboard. Can I just go like this? Oh, you got to stick it out of your window, yeah. Stay Is it out. on? Yeah, it's on. It's already recorded.